Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be doing another reaction video to someone that you guys have all of a sudden been asking me to react to like every single day, and this is Dan Bacon. And to be totally honest, I had no idea who this is. I'm like, who the heck is this Dan Bacon man that you guys are talking about? So I checked out his channel, and I first went to read his about section of his intro so nobody gets their panties in a bunch about uh, me making assumptions about someone's channel after one video, even though after one video, you should be able to accurately think, you know, oh, this channel is about this, this channel is about this. Just saying. Okay, so Dan Bacon's about section of his channel says, I teach men how to get the results that they want with women. I focus on three main areas. Number one, how to get laid or get a girlfriend. Number two, how to fix relationship problems with a woman. Example, lack of attraction, trust issues, arguing, women treating her man badly, power struggles, falling out of love, no spark, lack of respect, lack of appreciation. And number three, how to get an ex-woman back after a breakup, separation, or divorce. Okay, that was a pretty good synopsis of what his channel is about. I have not watched any of his videos. This one that I'm going to be reacting to today is the first one I've watched, but you guys seem to really like him and recommend him all the time. So the video specifically I'm gonna be reacting to is nine signs of male insecurity that turn women off. And as a woman, I think I could give you guys a pretty good idea of if he is saying things that yes, they do turn women off or no, they don't. So let's get started. If a beautiful woman is insecure or shy, it doesn't really matter to the majority of men. Most men will still find her attractive and want to be with her it's even true. though she's a bit insecure or shy. In fact, some guys will find it a bit of a turn on that the beautiful woman is shy and he can be more confident around her. Mm -hmm. However, the same doesn't apply for a woman's attraction to a man. Women are attracted to the emotional strengths of men, such as confidence, high self-esteem and self-assuredness and turned off by emotional weaknesses such as insecurity, self-doubt and shyness. What you may have noticed is that confident guys can easily attract women to get laid or get a girlfriend, whereas shy guys have a difficult time getting anywhere past the friend zone. Some shy guys can get laid or get a girlfriend, but they don't really have their choice of women because their emotional weakness turns most women off. That's fair. So what are some of the signs of insecurity that turn women off and how can you avoid doing it? Number one, unable to maintain eye contact. If a guy is talking to a woman, he doesn't need to stare at her in the eyes the entire time to maintain eye contact. But he does need to be able to maintain casual eye contact and keep that going for 5 seconds at a time or 10 seconds at a time. If a guy is talking to a woman and he's, he's looking away and looking around and looking down and looking uncomfortable, she's not going to be able to feel attracted to him. Women aren't attracted to emotional weakness. Number two. I think eye contact is huge. Same with body language. I always say if you walk into a room and you're standing up straight, you're making eye contact, you look relaxed, people are going to respect you more. If you walk in with your head down, with your arms crossed, and you're looking all insecure, it's going to deliver a different message and make you look less powerful. So I do think body language plays a huge role, especially with creating that initial attraction with women. So 100% true, correct. Number two, being lost for words and then appearing nervous or unsure of himself. One of the main reasons why guys struggle to get laid or get a girlfriend is that they don't really know what to say to a woman to keep a conversation going and keep it interesting. A guy will start off a conversation and because he's feeling so attracted to the woman and feeling insecure about nervous. his value and worthiness to her, he'll start to think too much and get lost for words. Suddenly he'll begin to appear nervous and unsure of himself and the woman will start to feel turned off. If a guy is confident and is able to be present in the conversation as he talks to a woman, he's not going to be worrying about things in his head. His brain isn't going to have to work hard to come up with conversation. It's just going to flow naturally and effortlessly as though he's talking to just any other person. Number three, doubting. And that's how it should be because guess what? Even the most beautiful women have insecurities. They feel unsure of themselves too. And so it's unrealistic to think that this girl's perfect. She never messes up when she talks. She is just up on a pedestal. It's so silly and it makes you feel more pressure. It puts a ton of unnecessary stress on yourself because she's just another human too. We all have insecurities. We all mess up when we speak sometimes and that is totally okay. So don't go in thinking I have to be perfect or you will always fall short and always be disappointed because nobody's perfect. Not this beautiful girl you think is and you're not either. So it's okay. Relax and you'll be fine. That one is true as well. Doubting that she could ever like a guy like him. If a guy is talking to a woman and he doubts that she could ever like a guy like him, 
it'll come across in the way that he's talking to her, his body language, how he reacts and responds to her, and his general approach to the interaction. For example, if a guy's being over complimentary and giving her the impression that he would be so lucky if he ever got a chance with her, that is gonna turn her off. A woman definitely does want to be appreciated and treated well, but she doesn't want a guy who feels like he needs to suck up to her and kiss her ass and hope to get a chance with her if he's on his very best behavior around her. Number four. That is, that is very true and I'm so glad he threw that in there because girls like when you do sweet things for them, but girls don't like when you are going above and beyond 24 seven, you're trying to impress her all the time or prove something. It just makes you look like you're trying to prove something and that you, you think that you're not good enough and it comes across through your actions. So definitely keep that in mind. I think that is very true. Um, and also I've done a whole video about she's out of your league. I know the movie is kind of silly and outlandish because most movies are, but I do think there are some good lessons to be learned from that and I did an entire video about it. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Whether you think you can or you think you can't is the result that you'll get. So, I mean, it is what it is. That one is true as well. Four, communication that lacks confidence. For example, hesitating to speak, lowering the volume of his voice, nervously giving his opinion. A lot of this comes back to a guy not having confidence in himself. If a guy is insecure and doubts his ability to attract women, he will often hesitate when he's speaking. He might lower the volume of his voice because he's not quite sure that what he's saying is cool enough or good enough. Women pick up on these subtle cues and it turns them off because women are not attracted to the emotional weakness of men. Number five. Women want a guy who can stand his ground and be comfortable being authentic and standing for what he believes in. So if you're constantly wavering from that or you don't even know where you stand with things and you aren't authentic, it's going to shine through when you're talking to her because you're going to be a yes man. You're going to agree with everything she says. And I know it might seem like women like that, but it's really not the case. And women like a guy who has boundaries, who can say no to things. And again, if you're a guy who is saying no to a girl and you get a really negative response, that should be a red flag for you because everyone has boundaries every healthy relationship has boundaries and I think that's something really important to keep in mind so again he's on he's doing well here being afraid to express his true personality out of a fear of being judged by kind of like what I just said what a lot of guys do is they put on an act of being nicer than they actually are or want to be in the hope that it will impress a woman if a woman notices that a guy is putting on an act and he's not really presenting his real personality then her guard goes up because she feels like she's not interacting with the real version of him. She can't trust him because he's not being honest with her. He's trying to win her over with a fake version of his personality. Number six, giving his power. Yep, and that's why I always say you should be the best version of yourself, right? You should never try to be someone that you're not because it's going to attract someone that isn't even attracted to the real you. So you should not want to be someone you're not because you're going to get a girl that's attracted to someone that isn't even you. And then it's going to always come out, your true colors will always shine through, and the relationship will eventually end. So I think in the beginning, it's always really important to just be the best version of yourself and everything else will fall into place. Good one again his power to her. For example, he goes along with whatever she wants to do. He lowers his social status to hopefully gain her pity. Feels like she needs to say yes or no to give him a chance to be with her. So he'd better be on his best behavior, otherwise she's gonna say no. He doesn't realize that all he needs to do is actively make her feel sexually attracted to him during a conversation and the games will begin to stop. Her guard will come down, she will open up, she'll feel a spark with him and she'll be interested to see where it goes. Number seven, trying to impress her by talking about his achievements or possessions. If the subject Jeez. of a guy's achievements or material possessions comes up in a conversation, there's nothing wrong with him talking about that in a relaxed, easygoing way. However, if a guy is talking to a woman and starts boasting or bragging or talking about what he wants to achieve or what he has achieved, a woman can tell if the real reason why he's saying it is due to insecurity. Mm -hmm. If the woman feels like the guy doesn't think that he's good enough for her and thinks that he needs to put on an act and really impress her to get a chance with her, it usually causes her to start playing hard to get. Suddenly she starts to feel like, hang on, maybe I am way better than him. Maybe he doesn't deserve me. Going out with him kind of feels like I'd be doing a favor to him. If she starts to feel that way about him, she won't really be able to respect him or feel attracted to him. Number eight. And another thing to add there, it's totally true. Another thing to add is 
I have been on dates before with guys who just sit there and talk about themselves the entire date. They brag about how much money they have or the cars that they drive. Or even you see guys on social media posing in front of cars that aren't even theirs. That is so whack. If you really are successful, you shouldn't feel a need to prove that to anybody because you just are. You just are successful. You shouldn't have to prove that to everyone else around you, especially a girl that is on a date with you. If she agreed to a date with you, she probably likes you for a reason and there's no need to sit there and brag about everything in your life. Again, I like that he mentioned, you know, if it comes up in conversation, if she asks what you do, then that's totally fine and it's very distinct and different and easy to tell when someone is just casually talking about something versus is when they are trying to brag or force it upon you. So, another good one. Right, displaying tense or nervous body language. For example, appearing concerned or worried that she could lose interest at any moment, having a tense look on his face, or maintaining concerned eye contact. Hmm. And number nine, being unable to I wish he would have elaborated a little bit on, on that one because I'm having a hard time picturing it. I don't know if I've ever been in a situation where that has happened. If you guys could let me know in the comments down below what he means by that, I would love to hear it. Maybe it's like when a guy feels like he always has to be on guard, like he's like paying close attention to everything you're saying, over analyzing you to see if you look like you're losing interest. Um, yeah, I wish he would have ex explained that one a little bit more, but I mean, it's probably true. Able to pass her simple confidence tests. Some women are a lot easier to interact with and pick up than others, but pretty much all women put men through confidence tests. Um I just did an entire video about this, so definitely go check it out. I don't necessarily agree with the whole testing thing. I think if you really have to go out of your way to test the person that you're with, you're, you probably know that you're not supposed to be with them, right? But I think as you progress in a relationship, as you're dating, you naturally kind of test each other by the conversations that you have if you are in alignment on certain things. I think sometimes those can be mistaken for tests when really they're just figuring out if you're compatible with that person. So keep that in mind and definitely check out that video of mine if you haven't seen it already. A woman wants to test a guy's confidence to see if he's emotionally strong or not. If she tests him by playing hard to get or not contributing much to the conversation and notices that he suddenly starts doubting himself, looking nervous and feeling insecure, her primal instinct of attraction goes off because women are not attracted to emotional weakness in men. What a lot of guys don't know is that being confident around women and attracting women is very easy to do. I think that's the end of the video, so I'll leave it there, but I really liked the way he explained things. I liked that he, you know, gave maybe a one-off situation where it would work out, or he said, you know, if it comes up naturally, but then in this situation, he kind of gave a little bit of devil's advocate, which I liked. I liked how he was calm and composed and didn't have to say a bunch of crazy stuff to get your attention because what he was saying was true. Pay attention to this when you're watching content creators. If they have to use a bunch of these weird terms or talk bad about an entire group of people, maybe you shouldn't be listening to them. So I really like this guy. He's one of my favorites that I've watched. I'm definitely going to check out some of his other content. Um, but just from this video, I liked that he was respectful. He didn't have to put down women to get his point across, which I really liked. And I can appreciate as a woman who does this for my job. The point of my reaction videos is not to put down other content creators or cause drama. It really is just to kind of elaborate on things that they say and see a different perspective because not all of you guys learn things the same way, right? Some of you guys need to hear things in a very harsh way for it to register with you and others of you like a more nurturing, calm way of hearing things. So I like to hear different people's perspectives because it helps me grow as a content creator and as a teacher for all of you. And I think it's also nice for you guys to hear from some other people as well. So by no means in these videos am I ever trying to put anybody down or discredit anybody, but just maybe highlight some things that you maybe wouldn't see for yourself if you watch it for yourself or maybe you wouldn't even know of these people unless I react to them. So just something to keep in mind. I'm never trying to be mean or anything like that. The last reaction video that I did got a ton of I'm not even gonna go into it. You can go look if you want to, um, but that's not what I'm about. I don't want my channel to be a negative place. I want my channel to be somewhere where you all leave feeling a little bit happier and healthier with yourselves. So just keep that in mind going forward. I really like doing these reaction videos and I know that all of you guys like them as well. So if you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.